Hi everyone. I'm just back with my second uh, guest design team project for Craft Supplies for You. And what you see before you is three banners that I have made um, from a lot of supplies from the Craft Supplies for You store. I also want to remind you as you're looking at them and before I get into the description that Craft Supplies for You is still having their uh, customer appreciation this month. Uh, until May 31st with every $25 purchase you make your name will be entered in a draw to win one of two craft supplies for you gift certificates uh, one is for $30 and one is for $40 so it's a good opportunity to go shopping and get some supplies and get your name entered to possibly win a gift certificate so um, I'm going to show you now some wonderful things that you can maybe be interested in buying to make some creations of your own. I'll show you the middle one up close first. So the um, pictures in the middle are rice paper and they're from a collection that I purchased somewhere, don't remember where. Uh, the rest of the supplies, or most of the supplies are from Craft Supplies for You. So in my DT package um, at the beginning of the month, I did show you this beautiful uh, ruffle trim. And I added a sequin and a little pearl bead. Um, I sewed them all in <coughs> uh, throughout it. And I did it as a running stitch and just kept all through the back. And then when I cut them, the, the long piece to put it between the three banners, I just put uh, glue on the backs of each of the um, areas where I was going to cut so that the whole thing didn't fall apart. This is a craft supplies for you trim at the top here. It comes in a full, you know, um, you get a yard, but I, I just cut them up separately to use at the top here. And uh, these are the little porcelain flowers that I really like from Craft Supplies for You. And these ones have a little crystal in the center. And these little flowers, and I have more at the bottom, I used uh, last month as well. And they come on a, a bush like this. You get quite a few on here. And this is what's left. And you get this, the little stamens too. And there it's a really good price the flowers are still on 60% off till the end of the month so another great buy and um, something to add to your goodies at a really great price this trim that I put around the edge of all three of the little images that are in the center is this one and when I showed it in my DT package it has like a ladder trim on the one side that's what I want to call it and then the flowers on the other and because I really wanted to use it on this project I just uh, separated the ladder part away from the flowers and I'm not going to throw this away because I know that there's I can use it for dangles on something or so there's other projects that I'll be able to use that for. So that's what's around each of the images. And on, on the bottom of each of the images, I or the banner, sorry, I have made a flower up. And this is put together with Craft Supplies for You. This is one of their doilies. This is a trim that... I've mentioned before, if you take your trims, especially the ones with the scalloped edges, and you, you can make them into flowers. So I've used scalloped a few of those and made that. And then these are some of the doilies from the doily pack. There's this one and this one. This is a little applique um, that I cut from one of the panel laces from Craft Supplies for You. I just cut out one of the individual flowers and then this is one of their square bling. These are a couple of little leaves that um, were from the flower stems that I got from Craft Supplies for You. This is the peacock trim that I've cut into separate little pieces. It comes, of course, like this. 
but what I did was cut the eyes out separately and then attach them onto the back in the configuration that I wanted. So I did one, two, and then a third one in front, and then I attached two separate ones on each side at the back. And they, their little dangles come down. And then I used this trim, which I made into dangles. So I attached two of the pieces together and then added a flower and another flower at the bottom. And that trim was this one and I showed that in my package. And again, it comes, you know, like this, but I just cut individual strips of it and easily made these pretty dangles. And then I just, these are from Craft Supplies for You. You get about six or seven of these on a stem really pretty uh, iridescent flower and then there's a another sort of a sheer petal and then the center one these are more of those little pink ones that I showed you from the top and then this is there's another one in here I made another dangle from that trim again I remember showing it last month in my DT package but this one get it twirled around here um, and it has a really pretty iridescence and to the little flowers and I just cut two strips of that and put that in the dangle as well and it it's actually a, a both these come I don't have it handy for some reason oh yes it is one second here it is and this is how it's sold and just make sure the iridescent on the edges of the petals is much more noticeable on one side than the other but this is how it comes and all I did was just cut off each of the sides and use that in the dangle and then I made um, a, da a, a beaded dangle and I used the little acrylic flowers here and these ones here are from craft supplies for you so make sure you check out her um, her beads and her acrylic flowers because she's got some nice nice things in the store these little guys here the little this little one and that's those are the two shaped in that shape yeah, so those are all from, and those are really pretty. And those are all from the store. And then I just um, attached um, and made them into dangles with this jewelry pins and jump rings. And then I added a few of my own beads. But they just pull out the colors so nicely from the top that I just like that addition. And on each of them, I made this. This is a little butterfly. You can hopefully there. You can see it a little better. You can see the little steam, little antennas there. And I made that from one of the flowers. And those are really easy to make too, because all you have to do on a flower like this, which I just took one off the stem, is you just cut away a petal at the top and petals at the at top and bottom. And now you're just left with four. And when you cut them away, then they're not going to keep popping back up like they are right now. There. And then all I did for the little antennae is I used some of these little pearl sprays. And you just have to cut off. I usually cut off just a couple and I leave sort of the bottom bit of pearl and then just cut just below that and then you just place those of course in behind you glue them and they become your your little antennae on your butterfly and so you very easily get a cute little butterfly from a flower and that's how they look 
So I did three because there's a spot in my room that I want to put and the three is the perfect number. So they're all very similar with just a slightly different uh, image in the middle, but uh, the way I, I um, uh, surrounded them with the same edging lace, the same ruffle trim. Each of the flowers at the bottom is a little bit different, just to add some interest. So this one again is a craft supplies for you trim, and I get just gathered it on the one edge and made it into a flower. This is a bottom edge off of one of the craft supplies for you um, yard laces or panel laces, and again gathered it on the one edge, and then. These are doilies from the doily pack. So one, two, and then actually this one is not from the doily pack. This is a separate one that I purchased and I showed that in my BT package. And I added the bling in the center. And then this one, you can see this trim a little bit more easily. This one that I cut, this is the one, other one that I made with the little flowers at the bottom. And I made a slightly different um, dangle to go on this one. This is um, the metal part of this little bit here. This metal piece is from Craft Supplies for You and I just added a little piece of acrylic flower in the center. This uh, radish acrylic is an acrylic flower and that's from Craft Supplies for You. And then I just added little dangles on the bottom. And so and then these little flowers at the bottom are also from Craft Supplies for You. So I made them with some just some little bit of beads to make the dangle on that one. And this one is pretty similar in, in again, except the flower is a little different. So this is a Craft Supplies for You lace that I actually had. Some of these laces I had in my stash, so some of them I didn't show in my BT package. But this is one of her laces, and again, because of the scalloped edge, you can make this really pretty flower. And then um, one of the doilies from the doily pack. This is another Craft Supplies for You lace or trim, and it has this sort of edging on it. And again, gather it up. This is the same trim I used on one of my boxes last month to make the top of the flower on top of the box. And then another little doily from the doily pack and the same. I stuck to the same bling for the center of each of the flowers. And this one, the dangle, is the same as the last one I showed. So there is my project, uh, a set of banners for my second project for as a guest design team member for Craft Supplies for You. I hope that you will go and check out Julie's store and purchase some of these beautiful trims and flowers and beads and acrylic pieces for yourself so you can create your own beautiful projects. I will have links to the store in the description box below. I will also have links to all the other team members on the Craft Supplies for You team as they are all making beautiful projects to inspire. And that's all for me. Bye for now.